ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, hello there. I'm Dejin. this is War of the Visions, Final Fantasy Brave Exvius, and in this video, we're going to be talking about this week's spooky Halloween news. So, this is actually a really cool, really awesome update. We're right in the middle of a trial of reckoning right now with Final Fantasy XIII and Final Fantasy Tactics, but uh, this week begins the Halloween spooktober stuff. Um, so, there is going to be Halloween Lucia, Chunok, Ravelka, um, background repeat, and there's just so much cool stuff this week. Let's get right into it. So Halloween Lucia is a 70 cost dark unit. I think she looks amazing. I I love the butt wings, um, but she's got she's a grimoire keeper with sub mage of black mage and thief sub job of black mage and thief. Sorry, and uh, yeah, so. Word on the streets is JP got this sweet banner that was like 18k guarantee. Normally, I'm always like, you know what? We're never going to get what JP has. Like, our banners are oftentimes way different, or we just don't get them at all, and we will sometimes get stuff they didn't get. But I'm really hoping for this one because, like I said, we are right in the bulk of Final Fantasy 13 Tactics, plus Chunok is here. There's just a lot going on, and there's been a lot of stuff to uh, spend Vizior on. So... That being said, I think it would be sweet if we had that banner. Although, if we don't, it will be almost expected. Um, but anyways, yeah, so... Pretty cool. I honestly didn't think we were going to get Halloween this week. Also, the other Halloween units are going to be getting Mastery 2s. We'll see that in a bit. So, Chunok. Chunok is a water unit. Now, Chunok is not a Halloween unit. So, if you have to skip something. I think Chunok is going to be baller for PvE. He seems like he's going to be so good for PvE with, uh, with Duelist, Nightblade, and Thief. He's a 90 cost water slashing unit. He's got multi hits on multi hits. He's got uh, Thief, so steal time. He just seems like he'll be a god for uh, guild raids, for example, uh, if you're using water in those. And almost a must have, maybe. So Chunok is very good. Now, if he's not limited or anything like that, take that in consideration if you're going to pull or skip. Um, yeah, so there's that. And then there's Rivalka. This is a free unit, so don't be like, whoa, there's three units we have to pull for this week. What the heck? No, this is a free unit. It's uh, one of these MR units that we'll be able to unlock via the quest line with like a nightmare quest and stuff like that, and you'll be able to fully max her out. I love these units. And I love how they're basically just permanently in the game. After their, like, event month passes, they get added into the, um, the little key dungeon thing, the archive. And they're awesome. I, I've maxed out every single one of them. Cyrell, Ranel, and McLeod. And I will max out Ravelka as well. Now, I might wait until after, um, the Trial of Reckoning is over before I spend too much energy maxing this character, but... Her main job is Energist, Kodana Wielder, and White Mage. She's a 50 cost. These Another thing that's good about these MR units is they're really low cost. So they're, they can be very good to have for like limited battle stuff. Now that being said, she is a fire unit. So I don't know what people are running fire in limited battle, but I'm sure some of you are out there. Um, but yeah, she cannot be obtained from summons and instead obtained via the event quest. And that's the quest I was talking about. Now... The release uh, of the card here, this comes out on the 26th, so this is the following week, I believe. Um, Nightmare Before Halloween. First of all, let me state the art on this card looks so cool. It looks awesome. Um, it's got Salir, um, Crace, Crazy, Crace, and Lucia, Halloween Lucia that is. Ooh, spooky! It's got a, a new kind of mechanic or whatever that we haven't seen in Global yet. So instead of being an elemental base card, the activation requirements are Staff, Book, Axe, and Spear equipable main jobs. So that's very interesting to me. We've never seen anything like this. And uh, yeah, so instead of being like locked behind like only Dark can use this card or only Water or whatever the case may be, it's actually locked behind a bunch of weapons instead so you can build teams. If we're going to get a lot more cards like this, maybe you'll be able to build teams um, based on like weapon types instead and that could be something really interesting to see in the future It could bite you in the bottom too though If you were trying to use like a dark Lucia team in a dark comp and then uh, maybe you don't have any of these other weapons in that comp But you never know anyways man eater upon magic attack 
Strike, attack, resistance up. They were they were like, yo, everyone's getting beat up by snow right now. Let's give them a little bit of a buff. And then unit attack, resistance up. Um, additionally, the bestowed effect, magic up and area attackers uh, resist up. For Lucia only, magic attack power up and max HP up. And then for staff equipable main jobs, curses come in threes. Now this is an ability. Um, deals three hit damage to target based on caster's magic stat. Now, I'm all for cards with abilities, especially multi-hit abilities. I do think this is amazing. However, I don't think it's quite as powerful as like Exorcist or other multi-hit cards because it is magic. And as far as I know, magic will only do elemental chain. And the element of this will be probably whatever the element is of the unit you have it equipped on. Um, but it won't do element chain plus like type chain. So that's something to take into consideration but either way i think it's a great card it looks amazing and also you know mages getting a multi-hit is always a good thing as well also that lucia buff on there is um global exclusive now here is the water card this is probably the card that will be this is also coming on the 26th that, that you know this is geared toward chunok but it will work with other water units as well like astrius for example luck up critical evasion up and slash attack resist piercing rate up so this is very good for water teams as well um you get this card you get chunok you throw a card you throw a water team in a guild raid even if they're resistant to slash and they'll already be you know set on the right path um water type unit slash attack up defense piercing rate and luck up for chunok and ramada and then Jaden Rundall, magic and agility up because Jaden's on the card. You're never going to use this card on Jaden though, probably, unless you're doing like a weird water light comp, which is, you know, not illegal. There's going to be bingo boards for them, all the things. Okay, Lucia, Chunok, and uh, Rivalka will have JP up. Oh, they're getting EX jobs. Sorry, that's not the. We're not at the JP up part yet. Anyways, Frederica, Little Leela, and Ryryu. These guys are getting their MA2s. Amazing. Um, I love the old Halloween units, so the fact that they're getting buffs is, like, pretty sweet, eh? Yeah. Uh, Chocobo Expedition, they're, all the Halloween units are going to be in there. Chunok is going to be in there as well. Not Revelka though, because remember, Revelka's shards all come from the quests. Now, the next big thing is the blah, 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 background repeat. Background repeat function is coming. I couldn't be more excited with this. I hope it works with Trial of Reckoning, but we don't really know if it will or not, because as far as I know, JP hasn't had this feature yet um, at the same time as a Trial of Reckoning. So I have no idea if Trials will be eligible for this, but either way, even if they're not, the other stuff we'll be able to farm on the daily with these, this background repeat thing is actually amazing, and it's super, super convenient to have a feature like this just so that you can do other things. So maybe your, it will like save your phone a little bit of stress. I don't really know, but either way, I'm super looking forward to background repeat. It's one of the most anticipated features, I think, of this game for a lot of us. Um, some parts of the tutorial are being changed. Guild, okay, this is an interesting thing. So now for attending guild stuff, it seems like a lot of people randomly miss guild attending and i don't know why like every once in a while you'll be in a 30-man guild and you'll have only like 27 people attend and you'll be like what the heck what gives who the hell's not attending you're getting free viz for attending and stuff like that but uh so this will help people remember or not even remember but you won't even have to like specifically click the attend button anymore because you will be rewarded automatically when you do any guild operations like stone enhancement guild battles or i don't know possibly barracks not sure about barracks though um or, you know, guild quests and stuff like that. And, and I'm also unsure about guild raids. But that's really cool. That's a super good thing. Uh, the, the Halloween stuff this week. We are back to getting tickets. So everyone that was scared because of the uh, Tetra non-ticket in the daily login. We're getting tickets again. Um, that's cool. Lots of Viz. Lots of shards for Lucia. No Chunok shards, though. No Chunok shards. But Lucia shards, nonetheless. Um... Whimsy Shop stuff will have Chunok in it, of course. Chocobo Expedition, Arena, Buff. Um, Revelka Acquisition Quest. Okay, so this is the quest I was talking about for Revelka. You'll be able to unlock her and all her stuff. And and weapons for her and, I believe, Chunok weapon, maybe, as well. Yeah, I think this is a Chunok weapon. 
or made for him or whatever, you know. Lucy Halloween and Chunok starter quest, so you'll be able to try out these units without getting them. Um, class match, arena map updates, and more. So there's a class match that's going to start. We haven't had a class match in a while. So those of you guys that are super into those things, bingo, bango, bongo, you're getting the class match. Um, let's see, what else? Class match. There's a lot. And it's been a long... I don't even remember when the last class match was. I don't... I think I didn't do it because it feels like it's been even longer for me. So I think maybe I missed the class match. Anyways, Arena map update, Dark and Dark Unit Agility. So the map updates for Arena seem like they're going to be geared towards Lucia, not Chunok. So keep that in mind. So maybe you want to get Lucia juiced up. Um, Mock Guild Battles. Limited Guild Battle is going to be starting on the 22nd. So that's like in between updates, kind of. So be ready for another Limited Guild Battle coming up. Um... And yeah, limited guild battle map is also going to be dark magic and spear piercing rate, so similar to arena. And I, I want to say this is about the bulk of the news. I don't... New features, background repeat, we already talked about that. Um, and WOTV, oh yeah, and there was a Justin and Hiroki video, so that also means we're getting Hiroki gifts on login this week. You know what I miss in the Hiroki gifts? I think we only ever got it once, but I would... Like, I'm desperate for more, like... Trust stone stuff. I would love a, a new batch of trust stones. But that's me just being greedy, I guess. I can just farm them like everybody else. Uh, but anyways, yeah, so this is it. This is the stuff. Just wanted to go over it real quick. I'll be pulling on Wednesday morning. Um, I'm definitely going to go for Lucia. I'm unsure about Chunok. It depends on his banners. And if he has a 9-step, I might do up to the prism ticket just because I am super low on prism tickets. I think I only have one or two left. So there's that. I don't even have enough Blossoms to build two units right now anyways, though I have like less than six Blossoms. I have five or less Blossoms. It's pretty rough. So uh, my Blossom game is on the low side. So, But uh, maybe in the Lucia step up, if she has one, there will be some Blossoms in there. Anyways, uh, that's about it. So thanks for watching. Come check out my stream on Wednesday morning at twitch.tv slash DGNTV. That's tomorrow morning if you're watching this the day I put this up. And uh, yeah, and we'll do some polls and check out some new content and all that good stuff. So otherwise, I hope you guys are having fun with the Trial of Reckoning. Trial of Reckoning has been amazing. And uh, yeah, see you next time. See you then. And uh, good luck in your polls if you're going to do it. Bye. See you.